channel. It's your girl Zoe and today we'll be doing something very exciting and something that I've been wanting to do for a very very long time ever since I made this YouTube channel and these kind of videos I watch religiously every single day without fail and apart from obviously my musical theatre, my performing arts videos. I've been watching these videos ever since like a very very long time so it's nonetheless a fashion video so my whole youtube channel is going to be revolving around fashion because my two passions in the world are actually fashion and musical theater of course so if all else fails we know what i'm gonna do next so actually my biggest inspiration is actually best dress i've been watching her for so long now like i can't remember when's the first time i clicked on her channel just to give you guys a little bit of a history to my fashion I was really like a really just I didn't know anything about fashion when I was in primary like I remember I used to be like the worst like the absolute worst I would be like the one that doesn't dress up to like parties and it would just show up in my t-shirt and pants and like you know those like ordinary like pony branded like t-shirts and like this shorts that like no one even knew where they were from so like I became from like a fashion disaster from back then to when I to where I am now like maybe I, I still am a fashion disaster that's still up for debate but a little less of a fashion disaster so here I am and I want to teach you how to up your style how to do minimal work and minimal price and let's not hurt our bank accounts let's not hurt our debit cards and still be as fashionable so there's actually a lot of different ways where you can save time effort money especially if you're in your budget or you don't have time to shop and like go to every single store and like find out what you like so i have a few tips for you today today is going to be a very fun um video i hope you get something out of this video some knowledge and something you might be able to implement in the future on your outfit even though you don't have enough time money you know that sort of thing so without further ado grab your popcorn grab your tea grab some snacks grab your dog grab your cat grab i don't know grab your parents sit back and relax as i move you through the entire outfit video Let's go on to the video. For this first outfit here, I have a very nice dainty and feminine skater dress. So this skater dress is in the shade of a turquoise, mint green slash light blue kind of shade. And this is just a very nice like first date vibes, like a very innocent type of like girl. And so this dress just gives me the very like flowy vibes. You can wear this anywhere. You can wear this to school. You can wear this to college. You can wear this on the first day you can wear this on a picnic and it's very nice so it doesn't show too much skin but it shows just the right amount of skin so if you don't want to be accused of wearing the same dress too many times there's always another option of just using another top on and layering it on top of the current dress that you're wearing so for this one i've opted for a very light like light washed like blue denim top to go with it and I've tied like a knot in front of it just to give it like a more cropped feeling and that way you can still show like a bit of the dress and this one I chose like a similar shade to the jacket because it goes really really well with the dress but obviously if you're going for like another color you would want to choose another top that would be more suitable for the dress that you're wearing I really liked how this turned out because the bow at the French really enhances the whole outfit look together and it really looks like you put a lot of effort into your outfit when you just layered an extra top on it. So this really just gives like a feel of to people where you actually just took like a lot of effort to kind of like bring this whole outfit together but in fact you just actually kind of like took another outfit and then you lay it on top. So yeah. For this next dress, it's also the same dress but instead I've added a very nice embellishment to it so it's actually just a very casual denim jacket and this is more of a conservative like look to go with so this one is just like a basic denim jacket but of course you can pair it up with any jacket that you like what I like about the jacket is that it really cinches in your waist and it really like kind of shapes your body and like it just gives a very nice touch to the whole feel and instead of like being a very nice innocent girl this is just more of like a chilly weather or whether you're like going out and it's more formal occasion you can always use this especially when you're going to the cinemas or like the theaters so you gotta be prepared for when it's cold and chilly 
it's just a very nice addition to it and it looks like you're very like prepared and you got a shit together so this necklace is from Lovisa, but this one is more of a fun necklace. It's also gold chained, but this one has a lot of fun colors that comes with it. So it can really like dress up your whole outfit. So if especially if you're wearing like a very, very basic outfit and you need some jewelry to kind of jazz it up and like accessorize the whole thing, this is perfect for it because there's a lot of like colored gems. And these are actually real semi semi-precious gemstones so this is really like a one-of-a-kind necklace and i really really love this so much i treasure it a lot so yeah hi guys we're gonna move on to the earrings and this these earrings i am so so proud of because i literally love it i set my eyes on these when i walked through the store and i'm like i need to get these and just to give you guys a side note, all my earrings are actually more statement than basic. Like, I choose very, very uh, statement pieces because I feel like over the years when I'm scavenging, scavenging through, like, earrings, usually the very, very basic ones, I just lose them. So these statement earrings, I call it the birdcage earring. And because they are a birdcage, so what we have over here is a rose and then there's, like, a gem and, like, a gold gold embellishment. Then after that, we have a, this birdcage thing. I feel like there's a lot of details and it's very, very unique because you can't find this anywhere. And this is under the Palm Springs collection, so it's very nice. If you guys want to have it, go check it out in Lovisa. Hi guys, just going to give you a quick look at my accessories, my hair accessories. So this pearl, cl pearl clip is actually inspired by Best Dressed. And this one right here is actually a bobby pin, but it's lined with pearls. And this one right here is also a pearl clip and all these are actually gifted to me by my best friend so I actually don't know where they're from but um, I love to wear them every single day because they make me feel so much better about my outfit and this really is just a one of a kind thing. I wish they were bigger though so I'm probably gonna get like a bigger pearl size clip that you can just clip all the hair because right now they're not really like putting my hair in place. So yeah. So for this next outfit here, I'm channeling my inner like Hawaii girl, like the beach vibes kind of thing. If you can't go to the beach, let the beach come to you. So for this dress, it's also because of the wind that it feels like you're on a beach. Because of the wind, it like kind of like brings, it flares the outfit. And this really is just the best kind of dress to wear when you're on a beach, whether you're walking on the beach. It's a nice dress to walk on like with your sand in the toes, with like the ocean breeze and like the sea. For this one, I really love how they have the detailing on the dress is just very nice because it has a nice embroidery on it it's just like a very nice like flower patterns and i remember that i got this somewhere in out of state of salango so i didn't really like get it this dress i think i thrifted it for only like 20 ringgit so this is pretty good purchase and yeah it's just a very nice option for you to make your outfit more versatile you can also add like another jacket so because this dress has blue like little blue flowers like accents on it so i decided to like top it up with a good old denim jacket so something about this jacket like i said it helps you sit on the waist this dress doesn't really have a waist there's no waistline to kind of like help you cinch in that good old waist so if you need something more appropriate this dress will definitely help it so this kind of look is for like if you want to go to church you want to attend like something more formal this would definitely be a good help because you just have that kind of like really really like insecure feeling when you show off too much skin this would be a very very good alternative this next outfit over here was actually gifted to me by my very 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 good friend and this is actually gifted to me by my editor and I love this outfit so so much because this is just the most comfortable thing ever and despite it being very comfortable, it does not accommodate with how it looks because it looks really really like formal, you can wear this to a meeting, you can wear this to when you're going out with friends. So this very nice romper, it actually has a very low cut like in front so what I would suggest is either like a plain white tank top or a a plain white like cami underneath would be a very good suggestion because of the number of white items i have in this outfit it kind of brings out the whole white into this it's just like a very nice like white accents all over i'm sure if you pair it up with a good old like white pair of sneakers it would look very put together and very nice and that's how i want to like you know make my outfits more interesting by like putting small little accents all over it so it looks really really nice together and like i said this is also a very flexible piece so you could do anything in it you can even like run in it so this next earring is actually Actually, um, this really basic feather, white feather um, earring. I actually wore this 
during my 17th birthday party and actually this one is a very very easy like a very very basic earring where you can wear with every single clothing item so when I'm feeling like oh I don't want to think too much about my outfit today so I just usually just pop on these earrings because they make your outfit look really really like you put a lot of effort into it even though it's just like a very simple earring and it goes with everything that you wear so yeah this is a very nice option so I think this is actually my favorite outfit out of all these outfits. I do love this especially because this gives me like a very Steve Jobs like inspired like I'm going to work that kind of thing that kind of like office mom vibes. So this is just a very like basic neutral black um, turtleneck top and together with this I found a very nice like office look like grey kind of like sweater like cashmere material office skirt so i do love this skirt a lot and i actually just thrifted this from this shop called jalan jalan japan and if you guys are interested you can go check the thrift store out it's actually in a few locations in malaysia but this whole look just gives me a very very good like office girl vibe and it just looks really really like formal it can be good for meetings so yeah for the next necklace, we have my favourite necklace of all time. I'm actually loving this so much ever since I bought it. And this, like I said, this is a rose gold colour. And it goes well on anything that's black. So as long as you wear anything neutral, this really brings out the whole layered piece. And I really love the layered situation here because it's three. And actually, this is actually all just one, like it's just one hook and it's one, it's one whole kind of piece where it has three necklaces so it's actually just really really easy to put on so like it makes you look like you put a lot of effort into it like I said but it's actually just in one whole set and I really love how it's really just that simple but like when you put on something black to go with it it really just spices up your whole, whole outfit this next outfit is one of like the outfits that I have not been wearing very often and because this is just slightly out of my comfort zone but I just love how it looks so much so it's just this very oversized like cropped jacket that I thrifted and it says era and like the, the word the font actually has this slight hint of an accent that is red in colour so I decided to go for my very trusty long like red corduroy pants and you guys know how much I love corduroy that material is so soft and so I just to just go with the whole thing and just accessorize it a little bit and put like a this kind of like shiny belt that I just got from Tadimi which didn't cost like a lot, it was just really really cheap and that's why I got it with my friend and we had like twinning belts. This whole like look is actually kind of like a try hard hide beast kind of look where you just want to look like very out there and it's just like very trendy but it's just like a rendition of like not to spend too much money kind of hide these kind of look and it just like to dress it down a little and not to look so like funky so I really just love this outfit and you will like experiment with like showing off some skin I decided to tuck it in and so this whole look is actually more of like a cinched waist it actually just like really brings out your whole waist because that's kind of skin just shows like your whole skin part and it's just like really like it kind of balances the volume because there's too much material going on this gold chain right here has been my new favourite piece of jewellery and it's a new addition to my jewellery collection. So this is actually a gold chain and the gold stands out really really well when I wear something black. So it can you can wear something white to go with it, you can wear something dark as long as it's neutral tones and it really brings out this gold chain. This is from Lovisa and it's a new collection. So... I think it's still in stores now and you can get it there. This one is actually a gold chain, like a simple gold chain. But over here, there is this um, hook and it has like a silver embellishment here. I'm not sure whether you guys can see it properly, but there's supposed to be a silver embellishment here. And then at the end, it's actually tassels. They're like gold tassels. And I like how this gold chain really, really just like spices out the outfit because it adds a lot of dimension to it and it adds a lot of character to it. So usually what I'll do is I'll just get one of this statement pieces to go with a simple basic like gold earring to go with the necklace next up is actually another turtleneck but this turtleneck has slightly more thick material than the black turtleneck this is the white one but actually this one is just a very very nice and like a very humble to the neck piece and you can wear this during fall and it's just a very nice piece together with the black skirt so this black skirt is just from H&M and like the white turtleneck I thrifted 
And this is also, like I said, like a very office girl vibe. If you have an old dress code in your college or your school or even like in your office kind of wear, would opt for like a more long pencil skirt and that's okay. But I just decided to go with this H&M skirt because it really just cinches in your waist and it shows off a bit of skin so it's not too hot and... Yeah, so I've just really been loving this whole like soft and cozy vibe. It makes you look like a huge teddy bear and it's just really, really nice. This next look is also with the same white turtleneck top, but obviously it we're opting for a more fall kind of like vintage retro vibes because this skirt has like a little bit of like a retro vibe to it. And this is actually from, I also thrifted it, but this is also a corduroy material. So this whole like brown kind of shade, I know I, I did say that I dislike the shade brown, but something about this skirt just really just ties in the whole outfit and makes you look like you're in some kind of like fall country like Japan or like in the US where you actually have like four seasons and this whole like skirt just kind of like brings up the outfit and it makes you look like you're actually on holiday which is also very very nice and yeah so it's a good change for once. 